Hello everybody and happy signing day. It's been an exciting day here for the Tuscan College football team. Joining me now is head coach Frankie DeBusk. Uh, coach, let's get your overall thoughts on uh, your signees today. Uh, very, very athletic class. Jonathan, excited about uh, all the players that have joined our family. You know, we, we recruited State of Tennessee exceptionally hard. We got some very talented players in that area. And sprinkled down into Georgia. Uh, got some good football players there. And a couple over in South Carolina, there were some difference makers. I just think this class is a group of not only good football players, but good people that have a genuine interest in, in getting a college education and, and, and joining the Tuscan College football family. You guys have already received commitments from over 25 uh, players uh, this morning and early afternoon. Uh, just kind of talk about some of the needs that you feel that you guys addressed with uh, these players you've already uh, signed. Well, unfortunately, we're not able to release everybody that we've signed at this point in time for various reasons, and uh, we've, we've got a few more numbers than that, so I feel like we've We've, uh, we've achieved a lot of our goals. Uh, each and every year we just need to try to build on what we currently have. And, and right now we got, we got a football team that, that won five of their last six ball games and we're on the cusp of being special. I really believe that. Uh, but we've added some pieces to that puzzle as well. And, and we never have enough big kids. We're always trying to find the offensive lineman, and defensive lineman that can come in and make an impact. And so we signed some good players there. I think, uh, I think the, the athletic uh, side of this class is something special too. I think we got some kids from some really good high school football programs that are good football players, but are also very athletic. Uh, the receivers, I think, are electrifying. They can get the ball in their hands and they can do some special things. And uh, I just think from top to bottom, this class is a very, very strong class and we're still not finished. Well, you mentioned the guys uh, that you have coming back from last year's team, and uh, as hard as it is maybe to believe spring ball starts in just a few days, uh, what are some things you're going to be working on to get uh, these guys ready to go as we hit the fall in uh, just a few months? Well, actually, we will start our 6 a.m. workouts on Tuesday morning in our phenomenal indoor practice facility. It's one thing that we can truly get utilization out of when it comes this time of the year. And uh, We'll do that a couple days a week. We'll get in the weight room and continue to get stronger. And, once we get back from spring break, we'll start spring practice. And uh, we're going into the off season right now with a great group of guys. They've been working exceptionally hard, actually working a lot in their own time in, in the weight room. I see them over running on the hill. I think they're, they, they got a, t a taste of victory. They taste some, some big wins. We found a way to get some wins there late in the year that to give them a chance to understand what it truly takes. And I think we've got some great leaders on this football team. Uh, we've divided our football team up into eight groups. Actually, we, we drafted them as coaches. It was interesting. We probably should have got you all involved in the draft process. But our coaches drafted our players. we got eight different teams, so we're going to be competing from accountability to the weight room to the classroom to the, the grades they make uh, to the community service, uh, a little bit of everything from this point to the end of the year. And hopefully one of those teams will step up and, and be champions. But uh, I'm excited about what we're, what we're doing as a football program and as a football team. And our coaches worked exceptionally hard in recruiting. They need to take a, a chill pill here for a couple of days and let's get ready to go back to the offseason. Well, Coach, we're all excited to see what uh, happens this spring and uh, how it plays out on the field this fall. And uh, thanks for talking with us today. Thank you very much.